How are you doing, Chaplain? I'm well. How are you? I am well, too. It's great to see you. It's good to be seen. I know that's right. Good evening, Holy Grounders. You get to meet another one of our brilliant team members. Tonight, you will meet Chaplain Jennifer L. Nash. And um, she's in the D.C. area. As, as you can see, uh, I mentioned we have 13 team members. So we have, we have like three different time zones. So it's good to see you. It's good to be here. So, Chaplain, what would you like to share with our Holy Grounders tonight? Well, first an introduction. Some may know me, some may not. I am Jennifer. I love to be called just J. My nickname has simplified over life, but <laughs> I am a chaplain. I'm a chaplain for the DC metro area. I am still doing some consulting on the side and I am currently taking care of a, a beautiful and lovely toddler. Yeah. <laughs> Full of life and vibrant. She will be three next month. Mm -hmm. And I'm just glad it's an honor to be here on this evening. And I'm just glad to be here and to see everybody and get to meet. Everybody. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So I have been asking the team members a few questions. And the first question is, what are your pet peeves? Uh, oh. <laughs> I think that the number one uh, pet peeve of mine, and I'm probably still sitting with it. I'm still sitting, I'm still sitting with it because I, I want to be careful about it. But I prefer if a person has a little issue, little alt, little, little cringe, little tinge um, against me or something negative. I, I, I want to sit down and talk with them. I don't want it to fester. So I am I'm, oh, as human as I'm trying to be, I'm trying to learn <laughs> to be patient with others. <laughs> Uh, and also learn to that they may not be able to share at that time mm -hmm. and but I, I'm working I'm still working on it to be gentle to myself and gentle to others and kind to others but I would really like if we we, we hatch things out okay so. okay I hear you I hear you so what do Jay do for fun what are your hobbies I know we have COVID now but you know we all have something we like to do. I do. I am like a, like a combustion, a spontaneous thing. So I can literally like do nothing for days. And then just one day I will just jump up and do something. So I love going to anywhere and everywhere where there's a big, large body of water. Mm -hmm. Something about the water resets my soul. I don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it. But I love heading out to the beach. I will go to the beach in the winter. I've always done it. Or take like a random staycation, like in a close or nearby state, always going somewhere. Uh, I also like to color as oh, a stress release. Awesome. Love to color. I love to also, I got back into my writing. It took eons for me to get there, but I love to write. I love to read. And I also love to now create memories with my daughter. Beautiful. So I've created new things. We go to lunch for my birthday. That's something I did. And usually we go for walks at night um, after dinner. So just finding new things to do amongst the, the time of the shut-in. <laughs> also, <laughs> the time of the shut-in. I like that. <laughs> Some people don't know what a shut-in is. We both know what that shut-in is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I have another question and what keeps you grounded or um, describe your faith journey, whichever one spirit is leading you to uh, answer at this time. I'll start with the faith journey. 
So the, the, the number one thing that comes to mind when you mentioned faith journey is having to unlearn everything mm. that I learned and to learn it again with a fresh perspective. And there's actually a, a piece that I actually started writing last night. How do I see God now in my life versus of how I grew up knowing mm. God? Mm-hmm. and replacing that so there's a lot of traditions and things that I had to let go because I felt like they weren't serving serving my highest good mm-hmm. but in the midst of that sometimes my mind can get a little bit spread out or I can feel a little bit overwhelmed so a couple of things I do to keep grounded is I think about the things that I'm grateful for Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to walk. I'm grateful, the smallest things. I'm grateful to be able to go to the store and my car not to climb. I'm grateful to have the ability to just go, the freedom to walk and go anywhere, even, you know, mm-hmm. with, within the guidelines and whatever. But just the, the smallest things that I'm thankful and grateful for just reminds me that, hey... <laughs> take a chill pill. (laughs) Everything's going to be okay. Take your time. And and that was the number one thing I had to learn was to be kind to myself Mm -hmm. and to be gentle with myself during this process and during this faith journey and allowing myself to just be addressing fear, listening to my intuition, uh, thinking about all the things that I want to learn and and grateful for the woman I'm becoming. So if I just think that I'm just, I'm too overwhelmed, I'm too toiled over, I do go and like call a friend or I go watch a funny video. I love watching something that makes me laugh. It kind of makes me just relax Mm -hmm. and think about nothing. Just focus on that. Just focus on what I'm watching, what I'm doing and try to keep myself together. Also meditation and writing as well. Awesome. You sound pretty full. I love it. I love it. Thanks for sharing. And, and, and some of these things you shared, can, people can, can use these, you know, there are various ways that um, we can, or various things we can do to keep ourselves grounded. And just as a chaplain would, you would share with us various uh, ways. So Holy Ground is we're getting close to the end. And I just want you to know that we have I think we have three more team members left. We have our, we have Brooke that leads our journaling journey. We have our musician coming up next week. And we have Jaden that leads our Buddhist breath coming up on Sunday. And then we have our first anniversary on October 9th. Hey. Yes, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where the Reverend Cedric A. Harmon will lead us in a holy word and our vocalist, Kimberly Shante and our musician, Jay Mella will be here to grace us with their gifts. So, Chaplain, Chaplain Jay, I like that. Chaplain Jay, what would you like to leave us with tonight? Take your time. Take your time. You have time. It's it's not too late. I think that's been sitting on my my chest for like a few days now, just sitting on my spirit heavy. Take your time. You have time. Whatever you feel like is pressuring you, this goes for myself, whatever you feel like is pressuring you, whatever you feel like is boiling over, you feel like you just can't seem to tackle, breathe and take your time received (laughs) blessings everyone good night if you have any other questions posted in our chat or in this feed and we will connect with you take care